Hi guys, it's Buyan here. I would like to make a short video to show you how to zero properly with the DDCS V1 controller. Having in mind the current software which is unmodded and it's like from the factory. Anyways, this controller, let me explain shortly. This controller is made to use a zero setting gauge. But this is not a zero setting gauge, this is a touch probe. When we have zero setting gauge, we put it here. We move manually the controller, we, we find the zero of the gauge and because of the gauge usually is 50 millimeter, we go to the controller and using this button, the second button, we manually input here where the zero is. So if the controller is 50 millimeters high, we, put, we input here 50 millimeter. Then we go back here, we put the touch plate, we go back to the controller Using the A button, we move to probe function, and when it probes, then the controller knows the thickness of this touch plate. And after that, we could move to the material and zero from now on. Now, the very important part to understand is that if we zero all axes all together, not only manually, because I have a button here which is programmed. When I push here, let me show you. It zeroes all axis again. If we do that, we have again to repeat the operation with the zero setting gauge. Remember that. If you zero all the axis all together, we have to do the double zeroing again. So, let's start doing it from scratch. We move here the axis, we don't know where the zero is, we don't know nothing. I'll move Y and X, and X. so we, it's like a, a random situation. Anyways, so the probe is here, the ground of probe is to the table. Somebody may wonder why we don't zero directly from here, because it's not possible, because the ground is connected to the table and we have nowhere to connect the, the plus input. So, only with this we can zero and without anything we could find all the zeros and we could find its proper thickness. So, no, we know the proper thickness, we could input it to the machine. I measured this 19.3 millimeters on my with my uh, digital protractor. So, let's start. We come to the machine, we use the second input, we go to A, probing function, and we push it again. So it starts probing. It touches the probe. All right, it goes back. I have programmed it and I know that this distance is 5 mm. This is very important. So, now the controller thinks that the surface of the probe is the table. But we forget about this. So we go to mode, to second, we go to Y minus function, and we want to zero only the Z. We go plus Z, and we input here. 5 mm which the head lifted plus the 19.3 which we know the thickness of the probe so we input 24 24 plus 0.3 we put enter and what we do now is we told where the the table is so it's like we use the zero setting gauge, but what we have to do now is to tell the controller the thickness of the gauge. So what we do is, uh, second, probe, probe again. So now we are probing again. Alright. Now really the machine has inside the thickness of our gauge. 
So we go to the surface using manual movement. So let us check. We go mount. Oh no, sorry, not mount. We go second. We go a probe, and we start probing. All right. Now the machine knows it's 24. Point 29 millimeter from the top of the surface which is my reference so one last thing if I hit that button which zero so axis again which is programmable by the way if I hit that button and zero all the three axes all together we have to repeat the procedure again so be careful if you zero all of the three again hitting the button you should know you have to repeat the procedure again I hope that video helps and explains how to zero efficiently with only a three dollar touch probe thanks for watching